let's start by filling your insulin cartridge. This is what you'll need. Start by washing your hands and preparing a clean flat surface to work on. Be sure to check the expiry date and ensure the packaging and insulin cartridges are not damaged. If there is any damage present or if it's expired, discard and use another one. Start by opening the packaging from your insulin cartridge by slowly pulling from the bottom. Place your insulin cartridge so that the numbers 1 and 2 are facing towards you. Step 1. Remove excess air. Remove the syringe from its packaging. Without moving the plunger, push the tip of the syringe firmly into hole 1. Carefully pull the plunger all the way up to the top of the syringe. You should feel some resistance. This will remove any excess air from your insulin cartridge. Now, remove the syringe from hole 1 and push the plunger back towards the tip of the syringe. Step 2. Fill your syringe. Next, remove your needle from its packaging. Push the needle onto the tip of the syringe until they are connected. Take your room temperature insulin vial, check the expiry date, and clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol wipe before use. Remove the needle cap from the needle. Draw the plunger back to fill the syringe with 2.5 millilitres of air. Place the insulin vial in front of you onto the flat surface. Carefully push the needle through the rubber stopper of the insulin vial. Push the plunger all the way in to put all the air from the syringe into the vial. Keep holding the plunger down. Turn the vial with the syringe upside down and slowly pull the plunger down till you've drawn just over 2.5 millilitres of insulin. Give the syringe a few taps on the bottom to push any air bubbles up towards the needle. Push the plunger upwards to push the air bubbles back into the insulin vial. Ensure that there is 2.5 millilitres of insulin in your syringe. Check the syringe for air bubbles. Some small champagne-sized air bubbles are acceptable. Remove the syringe from the insulin vial. Be careful not to touch the needle. Turn the syringe so the needle is pointing downwards and give a few firm taps on the syringe. This will ensure that any air bubbles that remained in the syringe go upwards near the plunger. Step 3. Fill your insulin cartridge. Holding your insulin cartridge, gently place the needle into hole 2. Slowly push down the plunger, filling your cartridge with insulin. You must fill your insulin cartridge completely. Stop pushing the plunger when you see a drop of insulin coming out of hole 1. It is normal that some excess insulin may remain in the syringe after filling the insulin cartridge. Remove the syringe and dispose of the needle and syringe into a sharps bin. Step 4. Prime your insulin cartridge. Now you will need to prime and then remove your insulin cartridge from the filling cradle. First, hold the top of your insulin cartridge on both of the round edges and squeeze it further into the filling cradle. This will unhook the plastic tab. Then, squeeze downwards fully into the filling cradle twice and then release the insulin cartridge. It is important that this action is done twice. You can now remove your insulin cartridge from the filling cradle. Turn your insulin cartridge over. Squeeze the tabs on either side of the insulin cartridge connector and then lift up to unclip it. Finally, have one last check to make sure there are no large air bubbles in the reservoir. If large air bubbles are present, discard and use another insulin cartridge. If they are champagne-sized air bubbles, that's generally okay and you can use this insulin cartridge. If you see any air bubbles in your insulin cartridge, check your user manual for what is acceptable or what is not. Your insulin cartridge is now fully filled, primed and ready to use.
Now it is time to prepare and wear your pump. <laughs>